So when you bring your hamster home for the first time, you may not know what to expect with bringing them home, or you might not know what to do next once you bring them home. So that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. So when you're bringing your hamster home for the very first time, one of the things I actually would recommend is bringing a plastic carrier instead of just using the cardboard box that they give you when you bring your hamster home. Um, a lot of hamsters are known to actually end up chewing out of these and that's not good because your hamster can end up in a small space in your car under the seat and it's just going to be a very stressful situation. So using a plastic carrier can definitely save you some stress. Another thing is make getting the hamster your last stop. Don't go to a bunch of stores after you pick up your hamster because you want to get them at home as soon as possible. You don't want to have them sitting in a carrier for hours and hours while you're doing shopping or anything like that. So when you arrive home, the very first thing you're going to want to do is put your hamster in their new enclosure. So you need to make sure before you get your hamster, their enclosure is all set up. This just makes the time shorter for them to have to wait, just like you shouldn't stop at a bunch of stores after you pick up your hamster. You basically just want to get them into the enclosure as fast as possible from when you pick them up to when you get them home. Um, and if you have to set up their cage, they might have to sit in the travel carrier for a longer amount of time which it can be stressful for them because it's a completely new environment for them. When you're putting your hamster into their new enclosure I would suggest letting them crawl out on their own or if you need to take something and scoop them out and kind of let them crawl out into their cage instead of trying to stick your hand in there and get them out and stressing them out more. Now the next thing is going to be one of the hardest things for a new hamster owner to do and that is leave your hamster alone without any human interaction for two to three days. This just minimalizes any extra stress your hamster is going to be feeling. Keep in mind they just came all the way from a place that was familiar to them to a brand new home where they have to get used to the sounds, the smells, and everything else that goes around in your house. So it can be very stressful, they don't understand what's going on. So if someone is coming in as soon as they get to their new enclosure and they're trying to pick them up and like tame them and things, it can be terrifying and stressful. And stress leads to a lowered immune system, which then makes sicknesses and illnesses very, very easy to infect your hamster. Now during the two to three day period of no human interaction, yes, you can still change out their food and water if absolutely necessary. Just try to do it when they are sleeping rather than when they're awake. That way they're not gonna get scared when your hand goes in to change anything. It also is okay to sit by the enclosure and watch them or quietly talk to them or even just do some work near their enclosure so that they kind of get a little bit used to the movement around the cage as well as your voice. Once that two to three days is up, you can then choose to start the taming process, which I have done a couple of videos on. If you would like, you actually can leave your hamster go a little bit longer if necessary. Some hamsters may need more time to adjust to your home because sometimes two to three days just isn't long enough. So if they need a little bit more time of getting adjusted to your environment, then that is okay. Please keep in mind that some hamsters are absolutely petrified of humans due to the fact that a lot of hamsters are born in rodent mills, which is basically a large factory that breeds hamsters with no care of their health or their temperament. So if you get a hamster and anytime you enter the room or you try to go into their cage, they hiss, they bare their teeth, or they even scream at you, this doesn't mean they hate you, it just means they're terrified and understand that they're just a small little prey animal and you're this giant thing to them. It's like if an alien came down who was 10 times bigger than us. We don't speak the same language, so if an alien starts to try and pet me, I'm out of there. I'm probably gonna bite them. Like, I, I don't want you touching me. I don't know who you are. So it just takes some time for them to adjust and kind of figure out, hey, this thing isn't going to hurt me. Another thing is a hamster acting frantic in a new enclosure is a common behavior. Keep in mind they just went from a familiar place to a place they've never been. 
so if they are kind of acting a little bit crazy and seem a little bit stressed, they probably are. Um, also keep in mind that monkey barring and bar chewing are also signs of stress from a too small of a cage. So if those symptoms last more than two to three days, it is recommended that you upgrade your cage. A tip I have for new hamster owners is to just simply not worry. There are a lot of hamster owners who you get your new hamster and you've never had one before and I definitely know how it feels to feel like something is going wrong and you don't know like is this behavior normal? They could just be like grooming themselves and you're like are they okay? Are they dying? So try not to worry too much about your new hamster. As long as they're eating, drinking, or active, they are going to be fine. You also most likely will not be able to see your hamster drinking any water within the first couple of days. That's because hamsters once again are prey animals and they might just not feel comfortable around you to come out and drink in front of you. So if you don't see your hamster drinking, it doesn't necessarily mean they're not drinking at all. Hamsters also are desert animals, so they don't need to drink too much water, but they of course still need water, they're mammals. But. <laughs> They're probably coming out when you're sleeping or you're just not around to see them drink. As long as your hamster has access to a working water bottle or a water dish, they will find water when they are thirsty. Another thing is pouching bedding. The amount of people who have said, oh my gosh, my hamster is eating its bedding, what do I do? Keep calm. Your hamster's not eating its bedding. Your hamster has two cheek pouches on each side of its cheek. These are great for storing things like nesting and food so that they can bring back to their nest. So when your hamster starts sticking bedding in its mouth, it doesn't mean it's eating it, it means they're taking it back to their nest so they can make a nice big comfy bed. You might also not see your hamster as often because as you may already know, hamsters are nocturnal slash crepuscular. So this means they're most active during the night. So when you're sleeping, they're most likely going to be coming out. Some hamsters um, will wait until you've turned off the lights and have gone to bed to literally come out. Some are just too scared to come out when that light is on because they just don't feel safe enough yet. So if you're not seeing your hamster, it's probably because they're coming out when you're sleeping. So I really hope this video was able to help anybody who is going to be bringing home a new hamster. Don't forget, the most important thing is just give your hamster time to adjust and settle in. And it is okay to make a bit of noise in your home. Your home doesn't have to be dead silent. Uh, they will eventually adjust to what your house hold sounds like if there's a radio constantly playing it's not going to stress them out too much they will eventually get used to things like that so don't worry too much about your new hamster they most likely will be okay so yeah guys thank you so much for watching bye